Guys, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both sleeves, okay? So what I want to do is pull Mikai's weight forward. So I'm going to pull with my knees, okay? My knees and my hands. So I'm going to lock my knees and pull like this. I right, kind of like you're doing like a, a leg raise, sit up. Okay? So I'm going to bring both my knees to my chest as I pull. And now when I pull my hands, guys, I want to push it out, okay, as I pull to get his hands on the mat like this. So I can swing in, get my double underhooks. All right, guys, once I have my double underhooks, same thing. I'm going to go to the side, grab his lat, or I can grab the material, okay? So you can grab his lat or grab the material on his shoulder here. Same thing, my other hand's gonna grab the same side collar, okay? So I can push and duck my head out, okay? Once I've ducked my head out, guys, now I can pass the lapel to my other hand. And then I'm gonna get onto my elbow, grabbing this collar here, the other collar, like we're in your, we're in your standing. All right, now it's gotta climb his back, okay? So the trick here, guys, is remember our little magic hip trick. Okay, we're going to use this for momentum. So I'm going to open, kick up. Okay, so if you can, uh, you can kick up once. Sometimes you can get the strip hook straight away. But if you don't get it straight away, you can kick again to get your hook in. All right, guys. And then for this scenario, we're just going to pull Mikai back here onto his back. All right, get our seat belt. One more time. Uh, I'm in close guard, okay? So I'm gonna pull him forward with my knees and push out with my hands. Sorry, just put my hands like it. Alright, then I'm going to get my double underhooks, okay? Then I'm gonna grab his lat or the material and grab the repel here. Okay? So then I'm gonna push, get my head out, switch my grips to the other lapel, grab this lapel here, get on your elbow, guys. Make sure you're on your elbows or you're gonna be stuck here, okay? So if I'm here, try to take his back, no way. You have to get onto your elbows. All right, then using the momentum, I come up, and then I can pull him back into the back tank. All right, guys? So it's the same move that we did, standing, but from close guard. All right, guys? Three, two, one. Okay, so in close guard, I pull forward with my knees and push out with my hands, get his hands onto the mat. I'm gonna shoot under, get my double underhook. Okay guys, then I'm going to grab his material, or his lat here, and then his collar here. Okay, and I'm gonna push, duck out, and then pass the lapel. A lot of you are, are passing the lapel before you duck your head out. <coughs> That's okay, but that can actually make it a bit harder. So. When you have the material here and the lapel on this side, it's easier for me to like bench press him a little bit to create space than if you just have this lapel straight away. Okay? Alright guys, so once you get to here, grab the opposite lapel, get onto my elbow, and then I'm gonna climb his back. Okay? Now this time my opponent stays on his knees, okay? His base is really heavy, so I can't pull him back onto his back. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to jump to the other side and use the momentum to roll him over. Okay? So it's very common once you take the back on that side, they'll go onto their knees and base really hard. So what you want to do is just jump to the other side, use your momentum to pull them to the other side. Nice one more time. Okay, so pull forward, press, double on the hook. Get onto my elbow. Alright, do my leg. Alright, now I can't pull him this side. So I'm gonna jump to the other side and use that momentum. Take it back. Alright, guys, all good with that? Three, two, one.